Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at biodiversity and maintaining biodiversity. So biodiversity is the variability among living organisms from all sources, including terrestrial, me, aquatic and in other ecosystems around the world. So biodiversity forms the foundation of a vast array of uh, ecosystems that are critical for human health and well-being. Biodiversity is important as we need to maintain it and decisions that humans make play a vast role in the maintenance of biodiversity. So governments have the power or the legal power to control what is done to habitats within their country. So legalization protects natural habitats by outlawing development harvesting of natural resources or by other human exploitation such as going and building things or filling in lakes etc so additionally laws protecting specific areas like the usa's endangered species act helps protect animals that have already been impacted and protecting habitats before they have been altered is the best form on uh, biodiversity conservation and is most successful when it's implemented by government regulations. Nature's preserves are a form of government regulation and are often known as national parks. They protect a region and the organisms that live there from certain forms of development and provide access for people to go and visit them. So this is an excellent because it protects the natural habitat and the place where people can view animals within that natural habitat. So the goal is that over time it helps people have more respect for the natural world and increases pressure on governments to further protect these areas. We uh, need to go and protect against invasive species. So invasive species are sometimes introduced into an area on purpose but also sometimes by accident. So to limit the number of invasive species moved by accident by plane ships and cargoes, they must be thoroughly checked before it's offloaded in a new country. So additionally, people should not bring a new species of animals or plants without consulting ecologists first. Habitat restoration. So after an area is damaged by uh, humans, we can try and return it back to its natural state. This means bringing back the plants and animals that are naturally found there. This has been shown to be a promising one of returning biodiversity to a particular region. So one example is the reintroduction of wolves into Yellowstone National Park. So when wolves returned into the region, they ate more elk and coyote, which increased the prey species of the coyote and led to different areas being recovered because they were less trampled by things like elk. Captive breeding is when animals in captivity are bred. So this is seen as a somewhat controversial as it requires the capture of animals that are often near extinction. On the positive side it provides the opportunity to increase the population of a species so they can be reintroduced into the wild. So seed banks are also uh, areas where huge varieties of plant seeds are stored. So this provides a fail safe if the species goes extinct in nature. So the plant can be grown from the saved seed and reintroduced back into its habitat. So this is a very real issue and seed banks have been collecting samples for many years with some seed banks having over 2 billion seeds stored in it at any one time. Nature preserves are a form of uh, governmental regulation that are often known as national parks. They protect the region and the organisms that live there. So this is an excellent uh, way because then people can carry on seeing what the uh, ecosystem looks like. And the goal over time, same as conservation parks, is to go and give people a wider respect for that particular habitat or ecosystem which helps maintain the biodiversity within it. 
Understanding how new species interact with their environment is crucial to protecting them. As humans further understand species interaction, we find new and more direct ways to help protect organisms and maintain biodiversity. So one example is the use of wildlife corridors in urbanised areas. So by researching many different species, we have found that this dramatically increases their population. So it reduces the number of animals that come into direct contact with humans and provides areas for migratory animals to move long distances. We know that climate change has had a disastrous consequences for many living things on Earth. So we use huge amounts of fossil fuels, which directly causes climate change. So we need to move further away from using fossil fuels and use more sustainable or alternative energy sources. So this will reduce the effect of climate change on the world in general. Sustainable living is uh, something that we can each do or each choose to do on a daily basis. Whether it is by taking short showers, riding a bike to work or by buying eco labelled products, it helps reduce the amount of resources we use. So this is arguably the most important way of protecting biodiversity because everyone can do it, often with only small lifestyle changes. If everyone chose to live sustainably, biodiversity in a variety of habitats would improve. Thanks for watching.